Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Hitscan. Do you remember the Project A trailer? It actually came out just over a year ago on October the 16th, 2019. It was the first taste of this new game from Riot. And now that it's here, we wanted to have a look back at that trailer and sort of compare it to what the game is like now and sort of spot out any major differences if there's many at all. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to just compare that first Project A game to the Valorant we know today. So we kind of recreated every gameplay moment from the actual trailer, shot by shot, to give that side-by-side -side comparison. It's not going to be spot on, of course, and some things are just obviously going to be very similar. But hey, we thought we'd have a look and uh, just, uh, yeah, see what we get. Yeah, starting off with that first, just very classic back of sea shot with the uh, volcano lighting up the kill feed. Is our character -based tactical Just shooter. seeing this the first time, I remember the chills I got from that whole feel of the very like precise gunplay and seeing that it really was kind of like Counter-Strike in some ways and especially with how interested I was with getting into other shooters around that time, playing a lot of Siege and Counter-Strike and other shooters too. It's even looking at it now, I'm like, wow, this really is exactly why people were so hyped and are now like so, uh, I don't know, I guess just engaged in this whole Valorant versus Counter-Strike debate. It's just, yeah, it feels good to watch again. Especially around this time, there were a lot of people, I think like Henry G did like playtests and stuff, right? So those oh, yeah. bits of like information coming out here or there, we referred to Cypher as like hat guy for the most yeah. part. And it's just funny looking back that we'll see this in the other clips, but it's mostly jet which makes sense her utility being used but also viper which considering she's probably the worst agent in the game quite <laughs> oh, yeah. funny when you look back at it but this is just straightforward gunplay i almost forget that there's an ads in this game to be honest with the amount that i personally I, use I mean, it yeah but... me too me too really like well i keep I, I keep honestly seeing other people ads in my games every day i play and just going oh yeah shit, that's a thing as well <laughs> and I don't know, uh, like, let me know, I guess maybe we should run a poll on that, like, do you feel like you ADS a lot or barely at all, like, on Twitter, just see what that's like, that could be really interesting. Alright, anyway, moving on, we've got some more stuff, of course, the next clip, classic Viper uh, abilities being used. We try to match these up fairly well, but this side looks actually a little bit different visually, I don't really think about it too much, but, you know, obviously those boxes changing color from uh, orange to green on the cypher just walking out there at the end <laughs> like an idiot it might uh, be it might be controversial saying this but i prefer how the site looks for both this clip for project a and also the last one i think there's a lot more color and i think it looks a lot more atmospheric almost so i agree with that honestly you could swap yeah. these around and go oh yeah like valor looks so much better than project a now but it's actually I, it makes sense if for competitive integrity it's a lot more straightforward and cleaner but i gotta say i like the original gameplay project a here it looks really nice yeah i really do i miss the, the light coming out of the floor like that too i know that my settings might that i recorded this with might not be the highest setting so obviously can't you know shit on it too much but i do miss the orange boxes and just generally the atmosphere that you got from some of the sites don't feel like we have that as much but uh yeah anyway it's also so good that it is so clear cut and easy to see everything so trade-offs i guess but it is funny to see how similar these shots look though with the bucky and viper walking around that site like it, it really is not not too dissimilar there it's just some bits here and there and in this case especially the site uh, anyway, yeah, moving on, we got uh, some more stuff, of course, we got uh, about uh, three clips left, the classic, uh, just uh, mid of uh, mid of V here on the, uh, on Haven as well. I mean, this is literally oh, the only boy. major change, isn't it, really, just because of the Sage Wall interacted a bit differently now. It's like the being... only Guardian player in all of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Well, they did say that they thought the Guardian was going to be the meta gun, so... This yeah. is probably why, just watching Volcano and Excal play with it, it's convinced them that that's how it's going to work. Yeah, exactly. Like, I bet Volcano and Excal had a lot of fun in playtests. Uh, if you don't know too much about the dev team, there are some ex-CS pros and people who are just really, really good at these sort of games. So, you know, in playtests, obviously, skill differences were, you know, pretty wide. And I'm sure that they, they... I know that they have teams that they can get together of people that are of equal, really high skill. But yeah, it, it, I can understand why they kind of, you know, didn't get all of it right in terms of the predictions on which guns would be good and everything. 
But uh, yeah, still really, really fun to see. And th these shots also look really, really uh, similar with, with everything going on. The one thing that I actually want to bring up before just we move on too much, because I actually forgot to mention it, the sea site on Haven. What's going on there, really? Because I'm we, we're going to get to another clip of it later, but they really went from this vibrant green and orange to just straight up only the Radiantite boxes, and it's almost as if it's like sucked out all the energy from that area in the actual final game, right? Like, it's, everything is just gray. The soil is gray. The asphalt and, like, floor uh, around the back of the side is also gray. Gray sand is almost trailing off into these places, so it's a little bit weird to see, but hey, lore, I guess, and Radiantite just sucking the energy out of the world. It's a good way to look at it. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's not often that you look at a gameplay trailer. Actually, no, it's very common to look at a gameplay trailer and go, oh, this looks so much nicer than the game that I actually got. But I think it's you very <laughs> much just be pedantic almost. And it makes Shitting sense why they do that. that for a game. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of like, it makes sense why for Valorant, it's very much trying to be a competitive game. And I think that was very much a clear U-turn almost in that decision because maybe the maps struggled because of the color scheme from project a and they had to make it a little bit more straightforward and boring just to make sure that the game remained as clear cut as possible yeah i think it's it's also that whole thing where you almost want to separate the different parts of the map a little bit more like you have mid which is quite green you have some more differences that are easier to spot for players that are learning so it's a bit easier to know where you are right like there's been a lot of talks about that you know it's it's still more vibrant in counter-strike so like yeah. i think we're just getting Spoiled yeah, almost. like Mirage isn't exactly the most colorful place on the planet. <laughs> no. All right, moving on, we have some more jet stuff, though, and this is the, uh, I mean, I think a lot of people had uh, some, well, this is kind of what sold a lot of people on, on uh, Valorant, I feel like, or then Project A, seeing these uh, this jet movement and, uh, I mean, more precise headshots in the trailer than in, in the recreation. I, could, I was far from perfect with these shots, but I tried to be somewhat uh, similar at least. Again, like this this sight difference, yeah, it really is a lot more atmospheric in the, pro the Project A trailer, huh? Like really is so much more atmosphere. I wonder why. I mean, it, graphic settings might not be helping too much there either, but it looks uh, it's really interesting to see. Also, other than that, like in terms of jet abilities, it really has stayed the same, huh? Like since, since uh, way back when to now. I do kind of miss this uh, the UI that they had going though, like this headshot with the little pillars and stuff in the middle, or whatever you want to call it, like counting up the kills. We also didn't touch on one of the previous clips with Sage and the Brez and how contentious that was. Oh yeah, yeah, Just that how was how much of a big deal that is. Or was yeah, at the before, time. Uh, yeah, like the, the discussion from the playtest was all about, I don't want rest in my game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, now every Sage Shelter and, well, every Sage Shelter, the, the five that are left on the EU servers are struggling to find anyone to rest because <laughs> no one dies yeah. in a good spot. <laughs> all right, uh, let's move on to the, uh, the final clip, actually, we got. It's the Operator Jet clip that, I mean, I would say we all know and love, but. I'm not quite sure if it we... was a side for the future. <laughs> it was like a foreboding yeah. jet operator. This is going to be the future. Oh, here you can kind of see what I was talking about with the soil. You see here on the ground how in Project A you have sort of sand running out into the greenery, but in, in Valorant side you have much more of just that gray soil sort of transitioning into the actual dirt. Really feels like uh, this just Radionite sort of sucking the energy out of the the planet. That's really like the feeling I get whenever I see this. To be honest, I've not seen anybody really necessarily complain about it, but when you compare it to some of the old footage, because it isn't a trailer at this point, is it really? It's not like it's been CGI'd, it is gameplay, but yeah, a bit of the life, I suppose, has been taken out of the the atmosphere for Project A, but I, I want to, I'm curious oh, actually, because the, the only actually. thing that we saw was, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It looks nicer in Valorant. But like, I would have liked to have seen what this more atmospheric, better lighting, more vibrant version of Project A would look like on the likes of Ascent or Split or the other maps that weren't in this trailer, right? Because yeah, certainly Bind, I imagine, would be a lot more colorful. Oh yeah, that's a good point, actually. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go in game and up my graphic settings for like this sort of spot right here on the B site, just to see that I'm not like being unfair with the graphic settings maybe not being the highest because I'm not sure what I'm actually at when we recreated the shots but 
I will probably try and do that when we throw in a screenshot because this really is a lot more atmospheric and sort of... I mean, especially at the top there, right? Like, it looks way more uh, dingy, but at the same time, the lighting sort of sticking up behind it makes it look very vibrant and, and warm almost, but at the same time, a bit like mystical and uh, just, yeah, atmospheric. I remember when people said as well that they might they were not sure who all the different characters were in the trailer when they were getting killed. Like, oh, all the characters kind of look the same, you know? It's not like an Overwatch where you have all these different, uh, you know, shapes and sizes and figures and uh, silhouettes to work with. You just have all these characters look the same. I don't know who I'm killing or I don't know who who's killing who in, in the trailer. But that's not really something I also feel like anyone talks about really nowadays. <laughs> At least barely. <laughs> I mean, you've also got the comparison of last year of Overwatch Central versus Hitscan. Like, it's been a year since we've rebranded away from just being an Overwatch channel. It's been a much different year than I expected, certainly. A journey, like, but I don't. Sure. I think, yeah, like, COVID didn't help. I think without COVID, we'd expect Overwatch 2 at this time. It's still a game that I'm really interested in covering, but I think just with the... It's probably like when we hear more about the PV stuff for Overwatch 2, I think that's when we jump back on board. Because I am a looter shooter player more, more than a competitive PvP, uh, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to the Overwatch 2 stuff, but it's been a weird year to say the least. Yeah, and, and also this whole, the, it's really funny to follow this whole journey of Project A and our channel and also just, you know, the world, like everything has been. It does make me excited for like other games, you know, that come out. It would be cool to have like another Project A kind of thing launch at the moment. Still do Valorant stuff and then have another game on the horizon that's like, oh, this looks promising. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... and be able to compare a, a, a new Project A style game to Valorant and seeing where both of them end up, right? Because right now with, with Counter-Strike and Valorant, I feel like it's the whole thing where you have two games that are similar to each other, but they provide different gameplay opportunities and flows. I, I feel like they just really feel quite different, especially if you play a game, both of those games a lot, you can really appreciate them for different things. If you get like a third or fourth one in there, all of a sudden it feels like more of a genre rather than two games that are just similar, because I feel like there definitely is space to see what else you can do with this uh, this type of tax shooter. I guess the issue is though with other sort of shooter games at the moment is there's been more failures than successes when you look at some <laughs> of the stuff like point, Crucible, yeah. for example, which was a big rip. Even like Rogue Company sort of come in and been relatively lukewarm. Yeah, the squads out at the moment as well. Right. There's just all sorts of different stuff. There's constantly games coming out, but I think 2020 has been pretty exceptional for Valorant and it seems to be going headstrong into the future. Yeah, for sure. All right, and uh, well, until uh, until more stuff to update you on in the future with Valorant news or other content, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this comparison video and sort of a little bit of a look back of the past year for, for us and this game. Uh, yeah, cheers, it's been good. Yeah. And see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.